On the day that my life changed in the war, a 500 pound bomb flew in and hit us. It crashed into the engine room. It didn't explode straight away. It ignited the fuel in the engine room, which then detonated the bomb. So we got hit twice, if you like. The worst thing for me was losing so many good friends and colleagues who truthfully just didn't deserve what they got. And I came back carrying all types of psychological problems. I think as a couple, having to deal with this PTSD. Yes. Oh. Just, you know, dealing with him suffering and nightmares and, and having to deal with people. Just being so horrible. Mm. It was just before we got married, when we went on holiday. We got asked to leave. The hotel. <laughs> what? Because we were upset and the other guests. Mm. To see someone who you who you love who's trying to deal with their disfigurement. To be treated that way by people. It's it's just awful. You see someone who's trying to get on with who they are, because they're a the new person themselves after being injured, to suddenly go back into their shell. We dealt with it, we moved on. You know, his, his depression then is not, he doesn't have that now. He's happy with who he is. He's yeah. happy in his own skin. Yeah. My life has moved on and 40 years have happened and I've achieved an awful lot. I would never have met my wife had it not been for the war. So I have no complaints at all about the way things happened. What am I now? But I'll never lose sight of that very special person I met 35 years ago. Lucy didn't seem to notice anything odd in, in the way I looked. She just reacted to me as she would anyone else. She's got an incredible strength that comes out in adversity, as I found out many different times for different reasons. I'm so grateful that We've managed to stay together for 35 years. I'm very lucky, very lucky indeed. <laughs>